Hey everybody, Sharon here from GimmeEck.com. Here we are today in Salamander County Public Television going for every single achievement. This game is going to be a collection of mini games that you're going to play as part of this little story right here. So make sure you start up the first game. Whenever you get to the dialogue segments, you can hit the start button to skip all of these. So just make sure you do that unless you really care about the story. Once you skip ahead to the calendar, just make sure you start up the first mini game. For this one, all you have to do is just make sure you move the banana to fling this orange. You don't necessarily have to do well in the mini games, you just have to play them to completion. So you should get an achievement for each one. First one's going to be for 60 gamer score. Then if you did well, you could just move on to the next day. If you failed, you can just hold the Y button to skip to the next day. Same thing as before, you're going to click on play and then you can hit start to skip the dialogue segments and then get to the calendar, start up the next mini game. This one's going to be one of the longer ones. All you have to do is just make sure you grab the dog's tongue and you're going to try to swing at this tennis ball to try to get it out of this pile of packing peanuts. So just make sure you try to finagle it around and eventually you should catch it on an angle. If you're having trouble and the ball sinks too low, just feel free to restart the day. But once you finally get it out of the pit of packing peanuts, you should be good for the second achievement for another 60 gamer score then we can move on to the next day so just make sure you skip past the intro and the dialogue segment and then get to mini game number three it's going to be anti eraser this one's probably going to be the most time consuming one you're going to be at this dry erase board and you're going to control the eraser. What you want to do basically is you want to make sure you just fill out the entirety of the frame. The eraser is going to be a little hard to control since the controls are a little floaty. So just make sure you do little movements instead of big movements because you don't want this thing flying off the board. Trying to turn with this thing is going to be quite a challenge. So make sure you are very careful and try to go in as straight of lines as possible and try not to leave any big gaps. So just take your time with this one and then just slowly fill things out. The most difficult part is definitely going to be the bottom, especially if you get the eraser stuck where it's facing downwards. Just try to wedge it free and then just make sure you take care of the last few pixels. And then we should have our nice picture of these two drafts. Remember, a draft has a long neck and a horse does have a short neck. And once you finally manage to get this one filled out, you should be good for another mini game and another achievement. So there we go, and there's going to be our achievement, another 60 gamer score added to the board. Then we're going to move on to the next day. So make sure you either move on to next day or hold that Y button. Make sure you hit play, skip the dialogue segments, and then it's going to be on to mini game number four, Cheese Eater. For this one, you're going to be in control of a mouse, the animal, not the computer peripheral, and you're supposed to eat these blocks of cheese. Now, if you are here just for the achievements and don't actually care for the mini games, the quickest way to get through most of them is to just fail on purpose if it is a mini game that's failable. So for this one, what you want to do is want to make sure you just take the mouse and just crash it into the top of the screen. That should automatically end it and also give you the achievement for just playing the mini game. This one's going to be for another 60 gamer score and we're just going to skip on to the next day. So I'll hold that Y button and then we can move on to this one. So skip all the intro stuff, get to the calendar, make sure you start up the mini game. This one's going to be reverse basketball. It's going to be another failable one. So basically you're going to control these sliders in order to fling this basketball hoop at this stationary mid-air basketball. So if you miss eight times, you should automatically fail. So just make sure you miss as often as possible. So you can try if you want to, but you have eight shots and if you do miss every Every single one the mini game is just going to move on without you it's going to be a little frustrating nonetheless but just get through it and then once this one's over it's going to be another one in the bag and of course another achievement to go along with it so there is going to be our achievement right here this one is going to be for another 60 gamer score onwards and upwards to the next day make sure you skip past all the intro stuff and then make sure you get to the mini game this one can be done super duper fast, just make sure you keep mashing the A button and you should draw these random lines without actually inflating the balloon. So just make sure you do that to get through it as quickly as possible. And then once you fail, you should be good for your next achievement. This one is going to be for 80 gamer score, and then it's going to be on to the next day. So make sure you skip that and then make sure you start it up. This one is going to be Christmas in July. You are basically flinging these ornaments and then trying to get them on the Christmas tree. The easiest way to do this is to just keep the candy cane pointed down and that way the ornaments just crash into the ground and you're going to have nine shots. So obviously we're trying to get this done as quickly as possible. So we're just going to leave the ornaments alone and we're just going to keep having them crash into the floor. Or you can try to swat at them if you're super bored. Nonetheless, once you exhaust every single one, you should be good for the minigame. 
there's going to be this achievement for another 80 gamer score, and then it's going to be on to the next one. So just make sure you skip past the intro again, and then we're going to skip past the dialogue. This one is going to be the joy of plugging it in. Unfortunately, we can't skip this one. However, it is going to be easy. All you have to do is just make sure you drag this power cord and just plug it in to each one of the plugs in the power strip right here. There's going to be a total of five. The controls can be a little finicky, but it's going to be really easy. You're just moving the thing from left to right and then down once you get it over its appropriate slot. So the trick is to obviously not reel it back in too much and you can just drag it slightly in the next direction and then just slot it in. Thankfully this one doesn't have super frustrating controls or wonky physics or anything like that so just make sure you just take your time and then make sure you just get those slots in a-okay and you should be able to knock this out super duper quickly. So here we are getting the last two so just make sure you keep flipping it in and then keep moving the piece of spaghetti until you get all five things to the green check marks. Once you have that, it's going to be another achievement for us. Another 80 gamer score for us, and then the green light to move on to the next day, so make sure you proceed. Then just make sure you skip past the intro stuff, very familiar stuff at this point. Get to this, this one is going to be underwater volleyball essentially with these two fish, so make sure you start that one up. Now, failing this one on purpose is actually going to be quite time-consuming still, so you have a minute and a half of this game, and basically what you want to do is you want to make sure you just set the controller down and just let the time run out. Unfortunately, whenever someone scores, the time is going to stop for a few seconds, so this one is going to take a little bit longer than a minute and a half, so you're probably looking at anywhere from two to two and a half minutes here. So if you need a break from this game or whatever, this is going to be the opportune time to do so. So just make sure you let the game play itself. The AI is probably probably going to beat you quite badly but again we're just trying to get through this as quickly as possible in order to get all the achievements and what do you know once you finish this one you should be good for your next one 80 gamer score and then on to the next mini game so skip past all of the intro stuff and then the dialogue stuff of course then it's going to be on to mitosis bowling you're just going to drag this bowling ball and then try to hit a pin with it the pin is going to break up in it to more pins and you're going to keep doing that you're going to have 10 shots available to you and the game is going to end as soon as you exhaust all 10 shots so this game is going to take the same amount of time regardless of fail or success. So make sure you try if you want to have some fun or you can just blow all 10 shots. doesn't really matter. But once you do get that 10th and final shot off, you should be good for this mini game. And then once you complete it, you should be good for the next achievement, of course. Another 80 gamer score to add to our collection. Then it's going to be onward to the next day. Skip the intro and then make sure you skip the dialogue segment. And then it's going to be on to Burger Building Bonanza. So this one's going to be another one that's super duper easy to fail. All you have to do is just make sure you miss the plate entirely. Or you can stand here and reminisce about a very familiar DisneyChannel.com game but nonetheless once you miss your first topping you are going to fail immediately and you should be good for the next achievement that goes along with this 100 gamer score for this one and then it's going to be on to the next one so skip past the intro and then skip past the dialogue this one's going to be donut production line so the fastest way to get this done is to just do nothing the game should fail automatically on its own if you don't move anything so just make sure you set the magnets in place and then just let the game automatically fail itself it's going to fail every time you miss a possible match of donuts so if you don't touch anything, you should get five missed matches rather quickly. Not five mismatches, but five missed matches. And then once you finally get those out of the way, mini game should be over. Another 100 gamer score for us for the next achievement. And then it's going to be on to the last mini game we need, at least in terms of the base 1000 gamer score. There are going to be more mini games after this. However, if you just want to stop at the point where you have all of the achievements, this is going to be your last one. All you have to do is just make sure you move the vacuum nozzle and then suck up all of the pineapple chunks off of the pizza if you're one of those people that don't enjoy pineapple on their pizza. And then once you finally get the last pineapple chunk, you should wrap up the last mini game we need and be good for our last achievement. There's going to be all 1000 gamer score. Should take you about 20 minutes or so to get through the entire game. But there is going to be everything. And that's all there is to it.